transmitted uh, antenna the f for no for reason in far field uh, is uh, equal to 2d square upon lambda so d here is dimension of antenna and the two thing is here when df is greater than d and df is greater than lambda when df is greater than d and when df is greater than lambda this can be uh, 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 easily understand when we take this some um, uh, example if for no for distance of antenna df is having the maximum dimension and it is given the 1 meter and operating frequency f is if we assume it is operating in gsm so it is 900 megahertz and gt and gr are unity send to calculate the path loss so what is the path loss so some terms are given some are unknown so let us find the lambda lambda is c by f here c is 3 into 10 to power 8 and it is divided by 900 megahertz and it is coming around 0 0.33 meter so df df is which is taking this equation so it is the 2d square by lambda we know the d d is given that is the distance d in 1 meter so put here 1 square lambda is 0.33 and it is uh, df is having 6 meter so the power loss pl dv is by the same formula minus 10 log lambda square 4 pi square d square so put the values and it is coming around uh, 47 dv now move on the finish transmission formula derivation here we have the trans receiver system and which can be we have uh, if all time we I am using this this is the free space this is the transmitter and receiver both are exchanging the information and receiving in a free space if we take this example like this way this one is our transmitter it's having the isotropic reflector radiator and it is the capability of to transmit the signal in all directions and here is our this is transmitter this is here the we have receiver it is also capable or transmitting the signal in all the direction and receiving the signals which are coming from all the others dimensions which are transmitted through the transmitter
so after the transmission the waves are propagated to reach their receiver end and the receiver are received this received uh, transmission em waves if we see how it's transmit it is transmit like this fashion in this 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 in their direction and it is propagate in this direction so we say that it is the isotropic reflector antenna it is also also tropic reflector antenna so it is becomes a transmitter transmitting antenna or oh, it's become as a receiving antenna the distance between this two antenna which are in a line of sights is given by small d the separation between the transmitter and the receiver is the d if we consider if we consider the transmission antenna as an isotropic source here to calculate the this equation let us assume tr antenna and iso tropic source then power density at at this 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 point rs antenna is w if we take this w that is given that transmitted power and the area or surface w pt to a this area is nothing but it is the isotropic reflector so it is given by the 4 pi d square theek okay. hai so so if we therefore if gain of transmission antenna is gt then power density becomes w is equal to pt a e and to separate this a it is et upon 4 pi d square apply the applied under ideal condition and assume if if effective aperture this is the effective aperture of receiver antenna is 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 a e r 
then received power PR is equal to W A C R that is equal to Pt upon gain of transmitted antenna upon 4 pi d square it is written like this way er so write the gain of transmitted antenna that is written as gt is equal to is if effective aperture to the surface area and then power of received power received power received power can be written as received power PR can be written as transmitted power multiplied by 4 pi AE divided by 4 pi D square lambda square a E R. So we put this this here. So it is become like this in the product of aperture, effective aperture of transmitter and receiver, and separation square of the distance and lambda square. And then the gain of RS antenna GR is 4 pi AER divided by lambda square then PR upon PT is GT upon GR and 4 pi D square upon lambda ka whole square this is the our main equation and for time being we have said this is the equation number x so the equation x is known as freeze trans mission formula this is the freeze transmission formula now move towards the transmission path loss we know that the freeze formula transmission formula that is the PR upon PT is product of transmitted gain of transmitter and receiver and to the area of them. If we write in this, this is in decibel, so it is now tan log PR upon pt that is equal to 10 log gr gt gr divided by 4 pi upon lambda whole square so 
after the next steps we move we can simplify this to take the different different part by the calculation for the calculation we can write this as and this is this section is as 10 log 4 pi upon this is in upon so we take the negative sign right here it is 4 pi d lambda square now the next what we do now we are taking the another simplest form of this derivation what we do now we take this square for the simplification it's coming here and it is becomes 20 and we take the in one of uh, one upon in so it's minus becomes minus multiplied by minus it's become plus so we can write this log if we take reciprocal then it's become like this and this is the explain this term is now explain the the transmission this term is explain the transmission loss so tan log pr upon pt is equal to tan log gt plus tan log gr minus power transmission loss where the ls is also known as spatial spatial transmission attenuation loss transmission attenuation loss so minus ls is equal to minus ls is equal to 20 log lambda upon 4 pi d this is written here right so here put the f is equal to c by lambda and you can see lambda is c by f 3 into 10 k power 8 f put is in this so power law due to propagation 20 log 3 into 10 k power 8 upon 4 pi upon df now the frequency f is considered if this frequency which is taken is a megahertz and the distance d is is given here d is in the kilometer so ls is now 20 log 3 10 k power 8 divided by 4 into 10 k power 9 upon df so 20 log 3 upon 40 pi minus 20 log d in kilometer and 20 log frequency is in 
hertz after the simplification we have minus s is minus 32.44 minus minus 20 log minus 20 log distance in kilometer log frequency in megahertz take the minus sign and 32.4 plus 20 log this plus 20 log f here we achieved this